Good morning, everyone. This is Neji. It is uh, September 18th. Uh, today is um, FOMC uh, meeting uh, minutes. And uh, then, um, uh, sorry, a rate cut announcement. It's not the minutes. And um, and then also uh, Powell speaks. Uh, so the, the announcement comes at 2. Um, and then Powell speaks at 2.30. So there'll be a lot of volatility in the market later. But uh, at the moment, things are kind of quiet. So um, I'm just scanning around, hit a great TTD trade on this 30-minute chart today. I uh, took it yesterday, popped up. So we're setting up uh, another chart that I like a lot here. This is PLTR on the 30-minute. You can see we have uh, a nice trend up from this gap up here um, and we've come in and we're starting to form a 30 minute squeeze a plus and um, i want to set up a trade on this but i don't think it's quite right to get in at the moment so the way i'm going to start this trade plan is i'm going to come in here to this 35.89 level and i'm going to put a value area low okay you can see that here on the chart with the VP, but then you can also see how many times support it's acted as support right there. Um, and then I'm going to come up here to where we just sort of um, hit resistance and I'm going to put a value area high. You can see that over here on the VP and you can see it here on the chart, right? Uh, I'm going to put a uh, target number one line in here I'm gonna make that green and I'm gonna label it target one make sure it's green and then I'm going to give it a little extension here and I'm gonna mark the 1272 for my target number two and label that one target two. Okay. And then as you can see, I have a point of control way down here at around 36. And I'll label this bottom one as my stop. Okay. So let me look at this now on like a two minute. You can see that we have um, a point of control level that's really far down. Mostly it's from these people here, right? But this zone between that point of control and this lower line, this lower value or low, is really your uh, support area, right? So. You could come in here and just draw a box here. You know, that would be a great entry bounce spot or add if we've taken a trade a little bit higher, right? Um, and the reason I didn't want to put this on and I called it out in the room as we were coming up into this level here, I knew this isn't the spot to put on a trade. I want this to come into that um, resistance level and come down into a an area where you know our risk reward is better we don't want to buy at uh, resistance we want to sell at resistance we want to buy in the support areas right so uh i'm going to whoops i deleted the line not the box sorry i'm going to come down here at that 36 level and i'm going to add an alert so that it alerts me when it comes down into that level. Um, and then I'm gonna put a secondary level right about that 36, 31. So I have two point of control levels here. Um, and I'm also gonna put an alert um, on that line as well. So if we can come down into this level and we look like we might bounce, um, I can uh, potentially take a trade there. So from here, we'll go back to our 30 minute chart. We'll make sure that our risk reward profile is 
um, acceptable, okay? So if I come over here and let's say I do, um, we get a pullback and we take something down in the 36 area and we take it up to, and our target is to 37, basically a dollar. Uh, our risk reward ratio is a 10. We're risking 10 cents on the underlying to get uh, a, a little over a dollar, right? If we pick it up off of this intermediary point of control level, we're not quite a two to one on our initial target, but then on our target number two, we're actually almost a 2.5 to one. So then we're risking 40 cents to, uh, to make a dollar, right? So if we like, if it looks like, and if, if TTD comes down, pulls into this 36, 31 level, and looks like it's starting to hold and, 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 and round, um, I might consider putting on a starter position there, not full position. And then if we get a pullback down into this 36 level, I would add to full position. That way, if it rounds here and goes, I, you know, I can participate, um, but I'm not risking almost a one-to-one -one, um, on this trade um, as if it, you know, just falls apart and goes against me. So, uh, I, I mean, I am almost risking one-to-one, -one, but I'm not full positioned. Does that make sense? So, you know, if I'm going to take, let's say I'm going to take f four contracts here, I'm just picking a number, you know, I would pick pick up two here if it looked like it was going to hold and round and then two more here to be full positioned or you know you know 10 here and 10 here depending you know on what your risk profile is size of your account you know etc right so then I'm going to go over and look at the TTD options um, I think for this week might be I'm sorry not TTD PLTR right uh, I'm going to look, we're on a 30 minute chart. I'm definitely looking at the very least out into next week. Um, I kind of like the $36.58 deltas, right? So we'd be looking at 9.20, what, 7 into next week. Um, $36 options, 36 C's, and we can pick those up right now for you know right around a buck 38 right around if you were more conservative or feeling more conservative you could go you know nine oh sorry ten fours you know in that case i'd I, i'd probably pick up the the 36 50s at a 52 delta you know, at about a buck, what do we got? 43, roundabout, whoops, roundabout. Okay. So that's the PLTR trade plan. Um, I am waiting until this gives me uh, an entry at either one of those two spots. If it does not look like it's gonna hold this intermediary POC, I'm, I'm not going to put a trade on there. I'm going to bring it down into kind of, you see this larger chunk of VP, right? This section here is where I would like to be putting on this trade. Somewhere in there, between 36, 13, and 36. Any questions on the PLTR trade? So my stop level, I understand that the stops are not, I mean that the uh, numbers are not necessarily readable on your screen, but given, given that pattern on your, on your chart, right, can you find those same levels? This this uh, valuary low is at thirty five ninety. Valuary high is at thirty six sixty seven. Thirty 
This lower point of control is at 36. And this intermediary point of control is at 36, 31. And I would think, I made these bigger, I think you should be able to see that, right? And really what I want you to do is not, is, is not um, you know, copy exactly where my lines are, but learn to put these lines on the chart for yourself, right? That, that's gonna make you uh, better at doing this. Uh, this is called volume profile. The indicator name is VRVP, stands for visible range volume profile. Mark, I do not. Is Riley spiking again? Okay, so that's that's my trade plan here for PLTR. Again, I'm probably not going to add this until after the FOMC, uh, unless for some reason I get a really nice rip and wick down into this uh, 30, 35, 90 level. Um, I'm probably going to wait till after the FOMC and see what happens with the volatility and whether PLTR, you know, really gets affected. Okay, that's the trade plan on PLTR. TR.